Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Sagittarius March 2, 2023. You're in good shape for building and development these days. However, you could struggle with some restlessness today, as much as you generally prefer to enjoy a slower pace. Your curiosity might also stir the pot now. There is a tendency to either talk too much or too prematurely, and for your mind to wander. Aim to take your time digesting everything you learn before making decisions. At the same time, while some wool gathering can be useful, it can be a form of procrastination if taken too far. Time might be better spent focusing on current practical needs. If you can tame unproductive tendencies, the day can be wonderfully positive. Keep your eyes on the prize. The universe is ready to give you everything that you want. However, when it comes to the cosmic tool of manifestation, you must know that even your greatest desires will take time to create. Right now, with all planets in the heavens above in direct motion, you have less impeding your plans. Regardless of whatever it is that you wish to build toward personal independence, health, your first home, a marriage proposal, etc. you have to move forward strategically when the universe is working in your favor. It is now. Are you in the right professional arrangements? As the moon enters its domicile, Cancer, today you may feel more inclined to reflect on your commitments, responsibilities, contracts, and more. The lunation will encourage you to lean into your intuition when reviewing your partnerships and commitments. Although you may try to be stoic with work matters, today's lunar energy will point out that your feelings matter too. Sit with your feelings since it could help you decide what you want to do with your arrangements and working relationships as you move forward. At the same time that Saturn moves into his final seven days in your income sector, Mercury is catching up and is now just two days away from leaving. This makes the moon's friendly aspect to both before leaving your work sector today more than just a timely coming together of forces on the income and job fronts. The insight gained on both fronts comes with a call to action. The disappointment you feel from conflict is connected with your desire to see people get along. How strong is that desire? Will it take you out of yourself and make your moods vacillate based on how things are going over there? To counteract this negative tendency, make the following foods a regular part of your diet, fresh papaya and an herb tea called purple loosestrife. This, along with regular exercise, will reduce the destructive impulse to help others before you help yourself. If you have wanted to take things in a new direction this day may give you the boost you need to get going. There is a great deal of power and strength on this day. It can see you move with more confidence and determination than ever, and when it comes to taking the initiative, this is definitely the time for it. Whether it's a move in your career or a change in your personal life, have no fear. Do what you need to so that you get the results you are seeking. Whether it is the moon's final hours in your work sector or its return to your relationship sector today, while ordinary monthly visits the implications could be game-changing. This last visit before Mars leaves your work sector will end with a friendly aspect to planets in your income sector, just days before they are due to leave, giving you valuable and timely insight into both. At the same time, this last visit to your relationship sector before Mars returns is the only visit while the Sun is in your communication sector, with a chance to become more emotionally engaged and get the communication lines open. The Moon returns for an ordinary monthly visit to your relationship sector but with perfect timing. The Moon will still be here when Mercury, the planet of communication returns to your communication sector but with the sun already here, from the start this is going to give your emotional responses and relationships a voice. As the moon's last visit before Mars returns this couldn't be more important. Our eyes in the sky. The current placement of the moon in Gemini may be causing some disruptions to our sleep patterns. If you're finding it difficult to get a good night's rest, you might also be affected by an unbalanced aspect between the Moon and Venus, which could leave you feeling even more fatigued in the morning. As the day progresses, you may notice a scattered or unfocused vibe, particularly during the first part of the day, when the Moon and Mercury are in an off-kilter connection. 
This could lead to feelings of disorganization and confusion, making it harder to stay on top of your daily responsibilities. If you're struggling with this scattered energy, it's important to take a step back and reassess your priorities. Consider reassigning any tasks that can wait until another day, or breaking them down into smaller, more manageable chunks. By taking the time to regroup and prioritize, you can help ensure that you're making the most of your day, despite any astrological influences. As the sun rises, the moon in Gemini comes into a challenging square aspect with Neptune in Pisces, which can leave us feeling vulnerable and unfocused. This combination is a recipe for confusion, making it all too easy to fall for deceptive sales pitches or be talked into taking part in unfavorable deals. It's essential to be extra cautious during this time, especially when it comes to signing contracts or making any binding agreements. Double and triple check the fine print to avoid any hidden clauses or ambiguous wording that could cause problems down the line. It might even be wise to postpone negotiations entirely until you feel more confident and clear-headed. Instead, this transit is perfect for low-stakes discussions or speculation that don't require immediate decisions. Avoid making any major moves or commitments and focus on gathering information and assessing your options. By taking a step back and approaching things with a level head, you can minimize your risk and protect yourself from any potential harm. You will handle financial matters with your usual aplomb today and should consider different types of investments. A good idea can mean a successful future. Even if you are just looking for bargains, you'll be able to distinguish between good and bad offers. Take advantage of them before someone else does. As we move towards midday, the moon forms a harmonious trine aspect with Mercury in Aquarius, which can bring a sense of clarity and perspective to our situation. This newfound lucidity allows us to see through any attempts to deceive or manipulate us, and we can now identify those who have been acting in bad faith. However, instead of getting caught up in feelings of anger or betrayal, we choose to focus on moving forward and conserving our energy. We recognize that we have dodged a bullet and elect not to waste any more time dealing with negative influences or energy vampires. Through these experiences, we are also able to see who our true friends and allies are, and we can turn to them for support and guidance. Conversations with those in our support systems can be incredibly helpful during this time, as we share our feelings without becoming overly emotional and help others with their problems by offering sound advice. By remaining level-headed and focused on our goals, we can extricate ourselves from any sticky situations and move forward with renewed clarity and purpose.